Hey guys, the other day I did a video blog like this and I asked you for ideas and suggestions for topics to talk about. And uh, one of the ideas I got and one of the topics that came up was like myths and stories that are related around fishing. Not necessarily fishing, but about fishing and boats and stuff. And one of them was the story about bananas. How come we always tell you not to bring bananas on boats? Now on the long range boats, you know, to be honest, you'll see bananas on 16 day trips, 10 day trips, even three day trips, see them like that. But on the one day trips, as a rule, you won't see a banana on a boat. And uh, some of you were asking to explain it, why that is, and um, how that whole no bananas thing got started. So to this day, if you go to Hawaii, you will see on some of the docks, there'll still be signs up that say no bananas. So um, let me tell you the story I've been told over the years, and hopefully this is the true story, but this is what I've been told why um, in the old days and on the boats, they say no bananas. So what happened was back in the day when uh, the discoverers would go and the sailors would go from Europe to um, Hawaii or to Tahiti or um, in the tropic areas where bananas were grown, uh, they would find ships adrift at sea with the whole crew dead. And the reason for that was when the ships left from Hawaii or they left these ports where bananas were grown, uh, they would load them up in the bottom with all kinds of different like fruits and, and if they had gold or whatever they could trade. Lots of times it was like bananas, something they couldn't get in England. And they would take the bananas, they'd clean them, they throw them in the boats. But what they didn't know was in the jungles and the tropics and stuff, um, there would be poisonous spiders like tarantulas, but a, a poison version of tarantula. And what they would do was they would clean the bananas, they'd get rid of the spiders, they wouldn't see them, but they didn't realize that those spiders had laid eggs on the ends of the bananas. And during that voyage, it might have taken months to go from the islands all the way back to England. During that voyage, the spiders would hatch from the ends of the bananas. And as the crew slept at night, the spiders would crawl through the boat and bite the crew members. And you have the whole bottom of your deck or bottom of your boat filled with bananas. That's, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of spiders, maybe even more than that. Lots of spiders. So when those spiders start hatching, they start walking around the deck, they bite the crew members, they die. And they would find, like I said, full ships adrift at sea with bananas down below the deck and no crew members alive. So that's the myth about bananas. Um, a lot of skippers and us like play, to play around fishing slow or we lost a fish or something. We always blame it on the person that brought a banana. So when you go on a local trip out of Southern California or even Hawaii, don't have a banana with you. Eat it before you get on the boat and get rid of the peel before you get on the boat. All right, that's today's little video blog. If you have more ideas, please list them down below this video or don't, you know, don't be afraid to send me emails and stuff, how to uh, get me the air ideas. That's a great way to do it is by email. And you can do it right here, uh, right below the video. I'll take a look at that too. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe right down here to my YouTube channel and help me get all you new subscribers up there. Goals get to 100,000 subscribers. We're a long ways from there, but we're really close to 10,000. So help me get there. All right, that's today's video. Talk to you all really soon. Remember, no bananas. Thanks, guys.